Oddly enough, one of the greatest chemists in the field of explosions was John Parsons. John Parsons is dead. He got too good. He blew himself off the map here two or three years ago. He was a good pal of mine. But this man was sought out when they really had a press on. He was sought out by the U.S. government to tell it what to do about solid fuels when they wanted to knock out Tokyo. Remember the, the raid, the uh, Doolittle's bombers and so forth? Well, he couldn't get these light bombers off an aircraft without putting a rocket assist, and they didn't have a fuel. So they came and found John Parsons. Very curious thing. The government at first was unable to hire him in spite of his fame in the field of chemistry and explosives, in spite of his record and his attainments. Why? Because he didn't have any degrees in chemistry. That was a terrible situation, wasn't it? But do you know how he studied chemistry? He was a bad boy in school. He wouldn't conform in any direction. But an old, mild, old English teacher, a British instructor, finally found out that the boy was interested in test tubes, so he simply turned him loose in a room full of them and said, John, you go ahead. And nobody controlled him to the slightest degree. And he went to that school seven years. He graduated from there, the foremost genius in the field of explosives in the United States. Now, there's, there's an interesting thing, isn't it?